Hi everyone, it's Paul here. And today I'm going to show you how to use ClickFunnel order forms to set a paid uh, trial and then a monthly subscription uh, within Stripe. Now, the first thing you've got to do is you've got to go into Stripe and set your subscription. So in this example, I'm using a 12 month subscription at $30 a month, which kicks in after seven days of a $1 trial. Once you've done that inside Stripe, you need to come out and make sure you've done it in test mode and live mode and then come into ClickFunnels. And then I'm going to walk you through every single step where you go from there. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to create a new funnel, or if you already have an order form funnel, just use that one. So I'm going to create a custom funnel here, and I'm actually going to just call this one uh, Pay Trial and Monthly Subscription, just for ease. And build funnel there. Okay, the first thing you want to do is go into the settings tab and change your stripe uh, into test mode for the payments. Okay, so change that to on and then scroll down and click on save and update settings. Okay, once that's done, just go over to the sales dropdown and choose order form. Now in this example, I'm just gonna use the skinny order form. Um, this won't work with a two-step order form, unfortunately, so you have to use a, a normal order form, okay? And then once that's loaded, I'm gonna go straight into products to get started and set up my products, first of all. So in effect, what we really need here is two products, okay? One's gonna be the $1 trial product and one is gonna be the subscription. So this one is going to be uh, the $1 trial product, but I'm actually gonna call it more than that. So I'm gonna call it $1 trial for seven days and then uh, $30, oh, sorry, $30 a month monthly for 12 months. Let's see if I spell this properly. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this whole line. Okay, so then billing integration, we're gonna choose a Stripe. And the amount is gonna be one US dollar. And so the price display override, this is the reason I copied that, is gonna be the same as what I put up top there. And then I'm gonna make it a one-time sale. And uh, I'm just gonna put a one dollar trial in here at the bottom. So that's kind of what's gonna appear on their bank statement, okay. And then I'm actually going to make this into a, uh, a bump on the order page. Just thinking if that's correct, I'm going to do it. And if it does not correct, then it doesn't matter. I'll come back and fix it. I'm going to go to fulfillment email. So this email is going to come straight out of ClickFunnels to say that the payment has been taken. If you need to set your email integration, just go ahead and do so. Uh, if you're using Infusionsoft or ActiveCampaign or MailChimp, something like that. So with the uh, fulfillment email, if you don't want this one to go from ClickFunnels, just delete the subject and all this stuff in the HTML body and uh, ClickFunnels won't send an uh, email for you, okay? So I'm gonna click here, create product. Okay, then we need to create a second product. So again, add products. And as then, I'm gonna copy in the name, exactly the same. The filling information is gonna be Stripe again, and there's no need to put the amount or the dollar amount in because I'm going to choose subscription, so it's going to take those two things away. I'll put the price override display in again, and the product description, I'm going to do a $30 monthly. And the Stripe plan is I've got on here $30 monthly. And so that's done. And then here we go, number of payments. So as I said at the beginning, this is a 12 month subscription. So if you're planning on having a subscription that's going to go every month or every week, then just put in 999 and it will just go on forever. So but in this example, I'm going to do 12 and then create product again. Then the next step is we go back to overview and edit page. Now the secret of this order form is that we want people to agree to have the paid trial and then monthly payments 
at this point and not query it later. So we do that by not letting them complete the actual order form until they've signed up, until they've agreed to our terms and conditions of the sale. Now to do that, we go into settings and we're gonna click on tracking code. And we're gonna to go to the footer code and then there's some code which I'm gonna put below this video for you. And I'm just gonna copy it in right now. Oh no, I'm not. I'm just gonna okay, grab it and then I'll copy it in. I'm just going to pause this uh, video for a second. Okay, so I'm back. So I've got my code and I'm going to paste it here into the footer code. So let me just paste that in. Okay, and there you can see that there's code in there. So this code basically means that the button to complete the order at the bottom of the order form is going to be hidden until a customer or the prospect agrees to the terms and conditions of the trial and the monthly subscription. You'll notice that there's um, some stars just here and that's for a button number that we need to go and grab. So I'm just going to close that down and I'm just going to scroll down to our button which is here. Now we'll click on the settings and on the right hand side down the bottom it says edit CSS info. Click on that and it gives us our button number. So just select the whole thing. Copy it, close that window, go back into settings and again tracking code, back to our footer code, and we need to paste that in just here. So let me just highlight where it's going to go. So this is where we're going to actually paste the button. And then we just do paste and we get our button number in there. So in this case it's 3100, sorry, 31077 is my button number. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to hide this button. So we're going to go to elements and then manage. And we're going to scroll down until we get to button, and then we're going to click on the little eye and hide it away so it's gone off the screen. Now you see it's vanished. Okay, next, what we need to do is we need to add in the order bump. Okay, so I'm going to click add new element and select order bump and drag that into place. Yeah, that's lovely. And so this is where you need to put in your uh, terms and conditions about what. What they what you want to do, so you know, so we can say, um, here free trial T's and C's, and then obviously, below it, you would just put in whatever your terms and conditions are. So, um, by taking this box, you agree to blah 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 blah. blah. Okay. And that's all that we need to do there. So I'm just going to click on save here. And this is where we'll see whether or not uh, this is actually going to work. Um, when I did that product earlier, I put that bump in. So let's just have a quick look. So I'm going to click over on preview and pop that up. Okay, and this has worked absolutely beautifully. So obviously this would change where you put your logo in and uh, you know whatever kind of script that you want to have at the top. You can see it's the $1 trial for seven days and then $30 monthly for 12 months. They'd have to choose that item to proceed. They would then have to put their credit card details in and then say, yes, you know, I'll take it. I agree to the terms and conditions. They tick that box there and then they get the complete order button come up. Obviously, you can put this order button below the bump or you can put the bump at the top of the screen or, or whatever you prefer. And then just, you know, they click on complete order. So I hope that's been helpful for everyone and um, that will kind of help you with your pay trials and their monthly subscriptions and getting all done in one go without your having to go back to your customers to get them to sign up again for your monthly subscription after you've given them a pay trial. Thanks very much for your time and uh, please feel free to ask any questions below this video and you can email me or send me a message, that's no problem at all. And uh, thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.